To be honest, I've you got some cool loot now, so... Ooh! Can't cool. be that bad. He'll let you out in three days. Uh... <laughs> let you out. Happy Easter. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. Do you have do you have a time do you have time today to talk about our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ? Just oh, can you imagine that? Can you imagine that going to them and saying like, "Yes, I've been a great believer in Jesus." <laughs> can you imagine like seeing one of those Jesus fucking crucifix monsters and then like crossing yourself? They think you were taking the piss. <laughs> and then just and then oh fucking I would not I would well, love nothing had, more like, than a crucifix around your neck like be <laughs> part of a cult like I, what? I would I would love nothing more than to be fucking like I don't know man I just lost all train of thought Ooh, ow wizard oh fuck's sake I did it again I fell down the same hole oh, such as oh f fucking Brosafina. I'm just, I'm just a dude with a sword. Can you just leave me alone? I don't even know if you can. Can you use magic in Dark Souls? I, you literally just asked that. No, you literally no, just asked I, that. Are I asked wizards? if there are wizards in Dark Souls. Like, can you oh. as a character use magic? Yeah, yes, absolutely. Like I said, in Dark Souls 1, it was broken and you could one-shot bosses. Um, oh. But... Ow! But now in uh, Dark Souls Three, it's been nerfed heavily, so it's not so uh, not so grandio anymore. Oh God, it's this boss! Fuck's sake! Oh. Yeah, oh, this was the boss this. I was talking about—the spider boss. That's not She's a spider. not a spider. Shit! What am I thinking? Aldrich? I Maybe? think I am thinking of Aldrich. Yeah, Aldrich might be a bit closer to a spider than uh, the most. I may also be wrong. I might also be thinking of The Witcher. It's been so long since I've <laughs> any, done anything fantasy related. <laughs> <laughs> I get them all mixed up now like a fucking boomer. Just need one more hit. There we go, done. Fucking pointless boss. Maybe it's because I'm a little bit over leveled as well, but fuck it, I don't care. I don't like her. She's a shit boss. So wait, you said you don't know the story of Dark Souls. Yes. How much do you think that you could... Like, how much do you think you've got from playing it? <laughs> what? None. <laughs> None at all. So, I know that, um... Bio... Okay, if we really want to go everything about Dark Souls... Right. So, I know that there was a... Uh, that the first fire was created by human beings. Yes. And, like, fire is, like the magical source of energy in the world. Mm. Fucking, like, there were people who conquered it, and they were called the Lords of Cinder. Yes. Um, something about the dragons, the, the Lords of Cinder rose up against the dragons, and fucking whatever. Yeah, the dragons are involved somehow. I, I remember, like, I did a deep dive into it years ago, because mm -hmm. I, do, I genuinely do like Dark Souls 3. Mm -hmm. um, but it's really unnecessary to the gameplay in my opinion. Like you just, oh god, you just yeah. gotta go through the motions with the game. Oh, oh god. It's literally yeah. survival. <laughs> it's it's fucking pointless. Um oh, you gotta read like all of the little text bits and you gotta pick up all the notes and talk to all the people. Like bitch who has time. Yeah, no, I, I and people are like, I like Dark Souls being complicated because you have to invest in the story, and I'm oh, like, man, <coughs> it's already a long game. This is a this is literally a game that you you play instead of like beating your kids. Yeah, I know. Oh, anyway, um, so yeah, and now you're an adventurer to basically kill the Lords of Cinder because they've gone out of control. Some shit like that, I think. Um, mm, I think you've got the gist of it, yeah. That's I pretty, think I've got the gist that's of it. pretty much the story. And oh, these no. are their thrones or something. Yeah, the, uh, so I've killed one of the Lords of Cinder. So the Which one other, have you killed? I've killed the Abyss Watchers. Uh, they're one of my favourite bosses in this entire game. There you go. See? Here we go. So, oh, off our Lords of Cinder. And someone there forgot to burn those swords into the throne. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Uh, that would be Yom the Giant. Um, the other one Have you got is the, doll? the Prince. Uh, I don't. Uh, so I don't know where to get the doll now. Um, uh, I'll go back to the Crystal Sage and see where I go from there. 
because uh, I think I carry on from there. The Road of Sacrifices. Oh, th oh yeah, yeah, no, this, this is called The Road of Sacrifices, and I don't know why it's called The Road of Sacrifices, don't fucking tell me why. Probably because they sacrificed a bunch of people here. Probably. And then call it, and then call it Jesus Green. I wouldn't be surprised if all the, all the dark souls here were super camp. <laughs> just sacrifice I don't think people. so. I don't think so. All of them comment on your skirt. Fucking, it's not a skirt. It's a, it's a loincloth. No, no, no. I, it's a compliment. I think it's really cool. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and the helmet, to be fair. Oh yeah, it matches, doesn't it? Um. Oh okay. I wouldn't say it <laughs> matches, but it's cool. That's Ooh. just the generic dude. I didn't even design his face because I was like, I'm never going to see his face because I'm always going to be wearing yeah, a helmet. Yeah, I've never really understood the point of sitting around designing your Dark Souls character. It's <sighs> not the point of. It's not the point of the game. Oh, I remember when a certain someone used to used to play Dark Souls with me. He used to spend ages sorting out his character. You never see your character in the first place, so why I fucking know. bother? Like when I when I set out to play it for the first time, he was insistent that I like make my character look like me, and I was like, "Why? I'm never gonna see her. Just make me a man. Let's move on." Right, done. Now I need to shut my window because the moths are coming in. <laughs> Get out of here, moths! Oh fuck! Everything just went wrong. What happened? What did you do? Oh, I just dropped my headset and my controller. Oh. I don't know why, but, you know. You do that sometimes. It do be like that sometimes. What do you uh, think your favourite armour um, suit is in this game? The Elite Knight set. Probably. Okay, so the one that you don't want to kill the woman for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm a coward and a weakling. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> what, is she that strong? No, it's just I don't want to kill her because, like, I'm I'm not that kind of. Di I don't want to kill her because she's you're, she's done no harm to me. You're a man of honor, then, not a coward uh, and a weakling. <laughs> they, are they, no, I'm a coward and a weakling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, knight armor, nameless knight armor, northern knight armor, fucking. Oh, nah, what bro. does the northern knight armor look like? Oh uh, shit! Does it give you a Scouse accent? <laughs> Uh, absolutely fucking does. I'll, I'll fucking get out of my way. I'll fucking, I'll fucking deck you, mate. Don't fucking fuck with me, cause I'll fucking shoot you. The scouts and the scouts should never be given guns. Twinkling tight night show. Thank you. Oh no. Oh no, it's given. these guys. Oh, oh fucking no. hell. Oh fuck them. That's why it's called the road of sacrifices. It's just a bunch of executioners. <laughs> Yeah, drop Whoa! Him. Okay! Shit! shit. <laughs> Take its cage. Blend in. Oh shit. Oh, I'm carrying too much. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Who dis? Uh, Granny. And she's not happy. But nor am I. Oh no, that was supposed to be a backstab! Come on! <laughs> Using a scarecrow to fight you. Fuck off, Granny. Ow! Granny's really let herself go. She's hitting you with yeah. the Bible. <laughs> Fucking hitting you with the Bible. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Book in her hand. <laughs> this really is. Okay, dude, you're she, right. She's literally Bible thumping. I feel so anime right now. <laughs> you should. It's inspired by an anime. <laughs> fucking, uh, uh, fucking. Aha! Maybe this, maybe this knight armor will be better. Uh, that armor is actually better. So. What the one you had before? This one, yeah. It's lighter and it's better. So what the yeah. fuck am I, I doing? Yeah, I mean that's. I always err on the side of lighter armor because if you're faster, you won't have to waste time blocking. Mm. You just have two things to do: strike and dodge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. No I'm not. helmet. I mean. No. 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 Look at this. Look at this. This is nice. This is just, a nice yeah, setup. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? Fashion souls. It's a thing. Fashion souls. Oh my god! Have you not heard of fashion souls? No. 
No, I've I told you I've been out of the out of the fantasy loop for a while. Oh, no. Fashion Souls is Dark Souls, but like you show off your outfit, so it's not a case of like how good the armor is and how good your build is. No, it's like how good you look. That's Fashion Souls, baby. <laughs> oh, there's a dude here. Uh, I've, hey, I've dude. always sacrificed the appearance of armor for a better weapon. That's my okay. problem. Okay, now he's suddenly awake. Oh. Hey. Well. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, they were they were literally just like random characters like this, just dotted throughout the dotted throughout the land. Yeah, just to fuck with you. Looks yeah, like basically. He's got the fallen knight armor set, which is everyone's favorite armor set because you look like an edgy edge lord. I mean, fallen knight armor set is pretty cool, though. It is pretty cool, but like you know. But everyone's wearing it. That's the thing. Everyone wears it, you know. What's his story? Why is he a fallen knight? I have no fucking idea, dude. I have not a fucking clue in the world. At the moment, he's, he's his presence bothers me, so I'm gonna fuck him up. Can we give him a name? Um, Billy. Billy the Fallen Knight. Yes, Billy. <laughs> Billy the cunt. Cartwheels in mid-air. <laughs> Billy the cuckold. <laughs> Billy the dead knight now. Billy. Billy the dick. Billy the. Billy the cunt. Billy the. Billy the fuck boy. Right. Ooh, Billy the fuckboy must have fallen hard <laughs> if he's a fallen knight. <laughs> oh, there's another one now up here. Oh, okay, let's just, see what this. Can you just avoid him? Nah. No. No. He's no. So I like that your um, cape is on fire always. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's because I'm uh, I'm an ember. Uh, I'm uh, I'm kindled. That's what, that's special what you call boy. It. I'm I'm kindled at the moment. So wait, here stuff. Shit. Oh. Fuck. Okay. That just came hey, puppy. Out of hey, puppy. Hey, puppy. Okay, come you just ran me. into the wall. Come on. Who's your good boy? Not you, beach. <laughs> yeah, not you, <laughs> cunt. Get the fuck out of here. I got, I got shit to do, man. I, I've got, a t I've got a schedule to keep. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm now I'm just getting some, shot from all sides by arrows. That's great. Arrows. That's great. This is what I needed. Did you book an appointment? <laughs> Did you book an appointment? Did you... Oh, God, I can hear another dog. Alright, where's this dog? Oh, oh fuck you. Fucker. Get out of here. Ooh. Okay. Oh, someone was a show-off. Someone... <laughs> someone liked to be well done. <laughs> Filet mignon. <laughs> oh, filet mignon. <laughs> Fucking dude. Like, oh, you know what? Here's a good line for him. Looks like I'm going to have to put you back in the oven. <laughs> Merciful God. Someone's undercooked. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Who is this guy? Where is he? Oh, he's on the floor. <laughs> Look, so, look, his, look, his booty is not that great. He's prostrating. I'm sounding like he's making sex noises right now. Oh, God, shut mean, the fuck up. He has got his ass up in the air. Yeah, exactly. And there are ghosts dude. everywhere. Dude, shut the fuck up and get a private room. Okay, <laughs> alright. church. The whole place is yes. a private room. Have no, it's heard? not. Churches are very public areas. You can walk in any church at any time. No, but what you do in a church is between you and God, so it's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I've got these cucks to deal with. I think we're just praying. Oh, fuck them. They'd all do that to me if it was up to them. <laughs> Whoa! Fire! <laughs> oh... See, that's what happens when a simp chases after you. The fucking Joan of Arc comes, of, comes out of nowhere. <laughs> fucking nah, man. That's what. That's a simp. That's a simp coming at you saying, "I love your only fans account." <laughs> Don't make hentai noises. I'm not making hentai noises. Believe me, you know if I make hentai noises. <laughs> oh. oh. What? Uh, Andre. Yeah. Everyone loves Andre. Everyone, Everyone loves, loves Andre. Everyone loves him. He's also a character in Berserk. No, he's not. It's, he's the one who makes the Dragon Slayer sword. Nah. 
I don't think nah. his name is Andre though. <laughs> oh, Titanite but scales. I need. I need Titanite scales. All right, we're going to get some. No. Bruh. What? <laughs> you can't just say that shit. They're rare. I don't know where to get them in this game. Oh. Oh wow, he's really hopeless, huh? Yeah. For Ariandel. Fire for Isn't Arendelle where Elsa and Anna live? I have no idea, man. <laughs> Are you saying Frozen was inspired by Dark Souls? <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. Oh my god, Dark no, Souls I'd be the prequel. <laughs> what oh, a fan no. fiction that would be. <laughs> Get out of here, you. And God and these gonna, guys, fuck them. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, this oh, went really oh, wrong. Oh, that oh, went oh, really, oh, really, oh, really, oh, really, oh, really wrong. You got them all with one shot last time. Yeah. Okay. They're setting the. They're setting the okay. On fire. Cool. Okay. This is this is fine. I'm perfectly okay with this. <laughs> okay. I can this hear another one uh, trying to hug oh, me. He's he's trying to. He's, <laughs> Sexual harassment. <laughs> Stranger danger. I mean, fucking. <laughs> I I don't actually. I don't think I'm supposed to go down this wall. Well, here you are. Here I am. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh, uh -oh. oh I am not prepared oh, for this. I am oh, not prepared for this. Oh, Shit. Oh, I need. Oh Simon, fuck. I need. You are stuck. <laughs> no. Shit, Shit. I've made a great mistake. Okay. What I need to do is I need to kill this thing first. Uh huh. And then, oh fuck! Right, drink, 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 drink. No, 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 no. What I need to do is I now need to equip a torch, 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 torch. Oh, thank fuck for that. For so long, I didn't know why I was taking bleeding damage into this, and the the game never tells you that you need to fucking. Oh no! It is quite literally a trial by fire. Oh yeah, it's it very literally. Right, uh, let's Ooh, kill this is... crystal monster. Oh, he's pretty. He is very pretty. I like him. He's, I mean, in the most grotesque possible way, he is gorgeous. Yeah, he's he's a he's a cute little mini boss. And I need his I need uh, his uh, his gems that he drops. I'm sure he's just misunderstood. He might have a titanite scale, so I need to kill him. Oh, he does a roll. He, he's like a Pokemon. A tail swoosh. He is a Pokemon. Yeah. yeah, this guy is a Pokemon. What's his name? Dark, uh, Pokemon is inspired by Dark Souls. Hundred <laughs> percent. Dark Souls is inspired by Pokemon. There you go. That's a much more likely story. He is a Percy. Yeah. Hey, uh... Oh, he breeds crystals as well. Oh, bruh. That's the, that's the star. Ow! There you go. Out he goes. Oh, that's a Titanite scale. Yes! Yay! Brosafina, that's what I needed. Seek and you shall find. Seek and you shall find. This is his little baby now. I'm going to kill his child. Oh, no! Fucking, Keep nah, man. No. Because I need those twinkling t I need those twinkling Titanite shards, bro. <laughs> You can't fucking. I can't just fucking overlook that shit, man. You but know what like, I'm saying? It could be like how to train your dragon, how to train your you know, Dark Souls monster, how to train your Dark Souls Demon. demonic horde. <laughs> um. Right. You <Yeet>. imagine? <laughs> there we being, go. Being the kings of Cinder with like a, a horde of Dark Souls monsters. Just uh, hey, dude. Um, I've I've got these I've got these little critters here. They want to find a new home. RSPCA for fucking Dark Souls. This is my swamp. This is oh Jesus! <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> Let's not get these two mixed up. Your social life has really boomed in Corinth. I know, fucking. <laughs> I know, right? There's, there's so much now going on. Oh Jesus! Several people have now messaged me on Discord. Oh God. Okay. Ooh, and Simon, I have so many friends. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't like in Dark Souls how everyone laughs after every they say something, and then they'll just go... <laughs> and they'll just start laughing, and it's just like... Okay, why does everyone laugh in Dark Souls? Everyone's an awkward teen, apparently. Where are you going to go next? 
Uh, well, I've now gotten my Titanite scale, so I've upgraded my sword, which okay. is good. Cool. Which is very good. Um, and now I can do other things. I can now. So you're a history buff. I have a, I have a, I have a bone to pick with all of history. <laughs> Right, so you know how explain. Wait, you don't really do the ancient history though, do you? No, I don't do classical. You do more like um recent-ish, like World War history. A A D, mostly. Yeah. Well, my gripe with history in general is that back when they used swords and shields, I don't know why they didn't just keep making like Roman swords that go all the way up and all the way down. Why they kept making those fucking circle ones, which only cover what? like a. F Quarter of your body. Oh, shields, you mean, not yeah, swords. Yeah. Did I say swords? Oh! Yeah, you said swords. Oh, sorry. Okay. Shields, yeah. Okay, okay. Let's think. So, Roman shields had a set purpose to them. They had a set purpose of being a wall. Yeah. Um, so, they were a unity. They were like a, a shield for a unity uh, for a unity army. Yeah. One that but was going to be. Also. Gone. Shield walls weren't exclusive to Romans, though. A lot of different no. cultures use them. It's just no, very like... true. Sorry, go on. No, very true. Um, you had other cultures that um, used, like, kite shields and shit like that. Yeah. Um, and they used shield wards, uh, like at the Battle of Normandy. Um, yes, they, they used a sh They used a shield wall they to uh, block... house calls. Um, yes! But... You know, Anglo-Saxons used them, Romans used, sorry, not Romans, uh, Vikings used them. Shield mm -hmm. walls were pretty, because it was such an effective technique, I think once one culture picked it up, everybody was like, yeah, that's that's a cool idea, we should do that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, it, it's just a good idea. I've just never quite, I mean, I can kind of understand that, like, the round shields that aren't massive, they're lighter, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. also Roman shields were generally metal from what I could, at least from what movies have told me <laughs> um, mm -hmm. they, they were generally made from metal and some padding um, but like the, the round circle shields they're, they're usually wooden and they don't cover a lot of your body unless you're thinking about like um, Spartan Greeks who used to use metal um, circular shields yeah, and they metal also round had shield. a shield wall but also what confuses me about the Spartans was that they never used to wear like a fuck ton of armour um, yes well that's because Spar well first thing was with Spartans that was more about bravado than it was about anything else but um, with Spartans, it was more or less they, they felt like it was cowardly to wear armour their their yeah. strength that and shit like that would be their protection fucking bullshit it was stupid the, idiots it was all left to the gods or whatever yeah um but yeah it was like toxic toxic masculinity 101 over there but it's just always confused me because every time i see a circle shield in like a period drama where they're talking about um any other kind of culture besides romans the shields are always so fucking tiny and it bothers me mm. so all right Let's let's delve into this question. The reason why I feel like Romans had uh, more abundant square shields that were made of metal. Yeah. They had a lot of power, a lot of influence, a lot of technology. Uh, yeah. They had a large empire. True, true, true. Whereas with and uh, you know, sol a, a basic Roman soldier was still like a very hard thing to deal with. Mm -hmm. Uh, whereas when you get to the medieval times, um, things get a little trickier and a lot harder uh, because people are less wealthy. They're wealthy, but they're less wealthy. Mm. And so they can't spend as much money on a lot of individual soldiers. Um, so you start to get like things becoming cheaper. So if you can, if you can spare to have a smaller shield, you can spare to have a smaller shield. Um, yeah, I guess a smaller shield is better than no shield at all. Yeah. And the kite shield um, was seen to be the best kind of shield you could get. Uh, In because the times? Yes, because it had that, um, it had that teardrop, uh, that teardrop shape, which meant that it covered your top very well, it covered your bottom very well, and was a very good shield to use for dueling as well, just because of it. It saved so much space um, mm -hmm. from being a teardrop shape. Yeah. 
Um, so that's why no one really used Roman shields after that point. You still get tower shields, like big square shields, but they were more of an... Yeah, ta uh, uh, that's an informal name for them, to be uh, fair, like tower shields. I, I would think that if individuals were going around with tower shields, it would look kind of fucking stupid. <laughs> would it not? Like, you'd think, what the fuck are you carrying around? Like, you can't just pack that away neatly. Yeah, exactly. So, um, and they were, I wouldn't say they were seen as a novelty item. But, like, if you had a tower shield, there were things that you could do to get round tower shields if someone was skilled enough. Mm. Um, so, yeah, shields, um, they changed over time to be really different. Yeah. What they originally were, fuck the Roman times! Because of the Roman times, it was stick your shield out in a square and stick your spears out, and they'll run into the yeah, spear. it was very much, spears. like, the, they didn't really do a lot of individual combat they did a lot of group combat so yep. it does make more sense for them exactly to do that. so so yeah that's why uh what else have you got gripes with history about well that was the main because i was re-watching vikings and that's one of my favorite shows um, okay i don't know if you've seen it or not but um nah. i i enjoy vikings the viking period of history but i also enjoy like a lot of character development the main character so he, goes through so much character development, and that's that. It was just like their tiny. Sh but then with Vikings, I kind of understand because generally speaking, Vikings were not the most well-off culture in history, despite all their pillaging and like um, raiding. Uh, they oh. were a fairly um, poor community, so it makes sense that they would have small shields. Also, they depended on like hitting a place and then running away really quickly. Um, weren't, from what I could tell, from what I heard, that Vikings weren't always about pillaging as well. They were, they were also great traders and shit like that. Um. Well, they they were essentially a pirate culture because where they where they lived, they couldn't grow a lot of stuff. Um, right. Because they lived in like Sweden and you know really cold climate, so they wouldn't have a lot of livestock. They wouldn't have a lot of um, produce. So they did eventually become quite good traders, but it all started with raiding. Raiding was part of their culture, which is why, like, I have a theory about tribal cultures and how religion kind of plays into that and encourages it. Obviously, mm -hmm. like, at the time, they would, they would need to do that for survival, which is why I find it to be such an interesting culture. But, like, when you think about tribal societies and the way that their religion kind of governs their lives, like, Vikings were all about, like, if you die in battle, then that's an honourable death. And like this, this idea of martyrdom throughout history, religion has had uh, like a very interesting opinion on it. Like you'll get X amount of reward, or you'll get a, a better status if you die in battle. Um, right. So I don't know. It's it's super super interesting. But um, they used to trade mainly in slaves, which they would take from monasteries. <laughs> So right. take monks and the yeah. reason why monks were so valuable was because they could read and write um, no. okay. but yeah I don't know it's very questionable in terms of the kinds of stuff that they engaged in but they are fascinating as people but my gripe yeah. was with their with their armor and their shield I mean they, they basically depended a lot on brutality a lot on surprise and they, while they did think that dying in battle was honourable, they were not shy about retreating if they could regroup and win later. Um, so, oh, sorry, go, on. go on. No, no, you go. Okay, so Viking armour. Mm. Everyone thinks they wore leather armour. Leather armour was actually not a thing. Um, leather armour, well, it was a thing, but it was expensive to make. It was not cheap, uh, like fantasy thinks it is. Um, it, it was very expensive to make, and yes, whilst light, it was it was hard to make because you had to fucking boil the leather, and the leather was then used, and then but you had things like shoes, you know, you had the leather to use for shoes. Yeah, I mean, shit like that. The closest thing, because again, Vikings weren't very well. First of all, they weren't they didn't make very sophisticated weapons, which is why they had um, axes and and things like that. It's it's because they were mainly farmers. Um, who had like this rough background of brutality because they're, they're tribes, you know, they had a lot of tribal wars and stuff like that. Um, 
I wouldn't say that they had leather armor particularly. They they had clothes, uh, <laughs> essentially. Um, well, they had berserkers as well, which was you know either farther step down because they often wore no clothes at all and just took a bunch of drugs and just started going. Um, but they had they would have like some metal plating some if they were rich they would have uh like proper armor and swords and stuff but most of them were were farm hands and um they had like little daggers swords or axes yeah so what uh, i was basically saying was that like people are like oh they wore leather armor or shit like that whereas it wouldn't be very realistic because again like I wouldn't imagine that they use livestock in that way, since they wouldn't have a fuck ton of that to start with. Mm. You know. But there's also uh, padded armor, which people just think as very useless. But padded armor oh, no, is no, no. padded armor is tough. Yeah. It's tough shit. It's seriously tough shit. Um, like people it's, had it's recorded like, like wearing Kevlar. Well, maybe not Kevlar, but it's 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 like that for the time. It's like wearing Kevlar under metal. Hmm. Um, and people uh, really underestimate how strong it was. Um, but yes, it was very, very potent. Um, uh, very potent armor. It's very and very interesting. Red. There's a there's a channel I watch on um, YouTube, and he like dissects uh, different armors from different video games, movies, all of that kind of stuff. What's he and called? Whether or not it it like fits in with the time period that it's meant to be in. Um, and you know how a lot of like armor sets you see them like cut off at the hips um, mm -hmm. that would actually restrict a lot of mobility if armor ever looked like that they usually don't they usually cut off at your waist which is much higher which is why it right. kind of has like a, a, a sort of hourglass shape a kind of a feminine shape a lot of armor sets right. do um, because that's where your body bends and, yeah. and that makes sense but because in TV like in Game of Thrones and stuff like that um, that's not aesthetically pleasing especially if you want to make like a really masculine character yeah um, they they'll usually bring that dip down to the hips which is just so oh you got fucked up huh yeah I'm, I'm done with Dark Souls <laughs> I'm done with Dark Souls that's enough but um, they'll cut it off at the hip which uh, I thought was it was an interesting point like when you see stuff like that you don't really think about it 